gray Mitsubishi SUV swerving and weaving, unable to maintain. 911, do you have an emergency? Some people think that it's just answering the phone, but you're a social worker, you're, you're a counselor, you are, um, you're doing so many different things. 911 dispatchers are the first point of contact for public safety. Okay. And can you describe as the white, black, Asian, Hispanic? Of a little girl that was murdered by her uncle. Assemblymember Norma Torres knows firsthand what it's like to be the first point of contact for public safety. Torres spent just over 17 years answering emergency calls from the public as a 911 dispatcher. 17 years of calls that have left vivid memories in her mind and heart of the people she helped and also those she could not. You don't remember the ones you save. You remember, you know, the fatalities. You, you remember um, the 11-year-old girl, you know, whose life was taken and you are uh, their only uh, witness and having to testify in court. Uh, you remember uh, the senior citizen who was pistol whipped and robbed, um, you know, while you were talking to them on the phone. Um, you remember the man who was being chased by a group of gang members and on his cell phone. Those are the people that you remember. For their judgment, their effectiveness, and their courage. At a Capitol Press Assembly Conference, Assemblymember Torres honored the work of dispatchers, announcing a resolution to designate a week in honor of their services. Torres also announced a package of legislation to help improve the 911 system. Published reports say California is not meeting national standards for timeliness of response in significant portions of the state. And despite efforts at recruitment over the past year, the state continues to have high turnover and high job vacancy rates among the 911 dispatchers. 23103 eastbound state route 20 just west of rough and ready. I don't think that we're utilizing or we, we're maximizing the use of 911 dispatchers. They are uh, key players in public safety and unfortunately I don't see them getting the training that they need to do a better job. Despite that, dispatchers like Jennifer Smith are proud of the job they do. There isn't a week that goes by where I don't smile to myself and feel blessed that I get to do the job that I do and get paid for it and love it every day. In addition to the resolution to designate April 12th through the 18th, 2009 as California's Public Safety Telecommunicators Week, Torres is working on three bills to improve the overall responsiveness of the 911 system. AB 423 deals with the recruitment and training of dispatchers. AB 424 requires cell phone retailers to disclose to the users the capabilities of their handsets to provide automatic call location identification to 911 dispatchers. And AB 912 expands the uses of the 911 surcharge on phone bills to include personnel and operations, giving the system budget flexibility to deploy new technologies and upgrade dispatchers' skills. These people don't ever get a, out of girl, you did a great job. Um, they're never told that. Like I said, they don't see the outcome. Oftentimes, they're talking to a suicidal victim. They send them help, um, but they don't know that that person survived. You know, a major traffic collision, they don't know what happens. Um, so having the training, whether it's uh, the emotional support that they need to help them um, develop that that mentality that they need to have in order to deal with real life and death situations is n is necessary for them um, to do their job. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? There are over 50,000 men and women answering 911 calls and operating the emergency response system in California. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services. Okay, ma'am, we'll get out, uh, some help out to him. Make sure that you uh, take precautions for your safety while you're out there on the freeway.